Hey all, I hope you're all well. Um, got a shirt, of course, and this is actually quite an exciting one. Primarily because it's two things. It's a shirt from a new country, and it's a manufacturer I've never heard of. So we're going to hit two birds, one stone, and hopefully it's going to be nice. Um, so the country, I mean, I have put a little bit of a guess, uh, or a little bit of a clue in the title. So if you're, you know, know a bit of geography, you'll know who this is. But I personally never anticipated owning a shirt from this country. Like, I have a list of countries you just think it's never going to happen. Obviously, North Korea tops the list. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to try it. I'm sure at some point there's going to be a lot of unsolicited sent emails from me to North Korea trying to ask for a shirt. What are the odds that they come back and give me one? Probably very low. But that's not what's happening right now. Now we are looking at this one. So let's open it up and hopefully it's everything I wish it is. I'd be so disappointed if this is rubbish. So, we have card, classic football shirts, Eric Cantona. It's a new one. So we've got Totti, we have Ronaldo Phenomeno, and now Cantona. So that's three out of however many, I have no idea. So that's cool, I guess. Still, oh no, they've changed out the uh, orientation. It's now, it's now vertical. Kits out challenge. Ooh, they've put people's, uh, people's uh, kits on there. Uh, am I on there somewhere? Uh, probably not, probably not. Uh, though I should be, of course. De -de -de -de. No. Um, anyway, who cares? Let's get into the package. Da, 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 da. Yeah. If you can get that shirt from there, bloody hell, you're good. There's the front. Maybe you can sneak a little, little flag there. This is quite a durable package, isn't it? Pretty impressive. Wow, that's weird. Right, so. Wow, this is, this is different. So I get rid of pink Eric. Okay, so there's the rear. So is there anything on there that um, stands out? Well, they're sponsored by a company called Zalti, who do cotton underwear, which is beautiful. Uh, but other than that, there's nothing on the back. Now let's turn this bad boy over and see if anything on the front stands out. Da -da. Ooh, that's interesting. That. Right, so there's the front. Um, does it have a tag? Here at the bottom. Authentic product, made in Indonesia. Um, there's the website. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I may have to double check, but I... I think I did a bit of research in this company. They're called MBB. I don't know what those initials stand for. Um, but they were an Indonesian company. And I think I say were in the sense that they don't exist anymore. I, I couldn't find anything suggesting they've done anything recently. I may be mistaken. But I think that's the reason why classic football shirts have got a lot of their stock. I presume it's just like a, a fire sale. Um, I did find a website, which I think might have been that one on the tag. I will double check. Uh, and it's not their website anymore. It's like a blog, but the blog doesn't really. Ref it's not. I don't. Understand. I tried reading it, and obviously I'm translating it from Indonesian, so it doesn't make sense, probably anyway. But it's just sort of just words. It doesn't really mean anything. So uh, I don't know what's happened there. But as for the shirt, if you can recognise the flag, and admittedly a lot of the flags in that area of the world are very similar, that is the Syrian flag. So this is a club team from Syria, which I thought the league was suspended at some point. And it was like 2010 or 2011. I thought it was a bit more recent to that because of obviously things. Um, but apparently not. They have been playing football, so that's cool. Uh, the team is Jabli SC. I'm sure it's pronounced differently. Probably a bit more throaty than that. But that's the best you're going to get from me. Uh, and it's the 2017-2018 home shirt, of course. I mean, how could we not recognise that? Um, one thing that does stand out quite quickly is the logo of the team. 
is uh, on the right, which for 99% of shirts, it's usually over the left. I think it's because it's signified over the hearts. I don't know. That might just be a bit of a sort of a romantic view of it, but I only have one other shirt which has it on the uh, on the right. Uh, and feeling it, it's a transfer, but it's like I can't explain the material. It's like really sticky. It's like a sticky material. So I'm gonna have to be very careful to store this because I feel like if I put that next to something, I'm just, it's gonna I'm gonna peel it apart at some point in the future, and it's just gonna transfer it across, or it's gonna peel it off. So I'm going to have to be very careful with this one. Um, the material itself is, it's quite durable. It's, you know, it's nice. I mean, it's polyester probably, so there's no difference. The uh, sleeves are a bit sort of shorter and a bit sort of tighter around the cuffs, I guess. That's interesting. Um, it is a medium, so we'll measure it because that could translate to God knows what. Um, you've got the logo of the manufacturer running around the, the collar. You've got the logo for the uh, manufacturer there and a compass, um, which I don't quite know what that signifies. Um, so let's measure it and see if it fits the uh, the UK medium. Yeah, it's in between 19 and 20, so that's cool. So that's worry about future ones. Because um, classic football shirts, they've got... Loads of these, admittedly, majority of them are Indonesian teams, as you would expect. Um, they posted up a few other countries. There's another Syrian shirt, which I may get just because of what it is. I'm certain they put up like Maldives or something like that, but the problem was it didn't have a um, sponsor, uh, which for me is kind of like I would prefer it to have a sponsor. Unless it's like a ridiculous design, it kind of needs a sponsor. So I'm kind of a bit good. Hopefully they've got, this is not the end of it and they're still going to post a load more, but uh, we'll see. And they're quite reasonably priced as well. They're like £25 to £29, which if you're only going to pick up one, like if you want to pick up a cool shirt that's different, a Syrian one, I think that takes, the, <laughs> takes everything you really need. The shirt's really nice. If you're going to wear it, I think it'll probably work out quite well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's another country I was really not anticipating to get. Like, as soon as it popped up, I was like, oh, that's what happened. They popped up one and it didn't have a sponsor. And I was like, oh my God, this is so frustrating. And then, and this one obviously popped up and I was like, right, screw it. Buying it, bought it instantly. And I'm very happy. I don't know how many countries I have now. I think it's like 78 or something, which is quite a lot. But compared to, I think I need 203 or 208. I still have a long way to go. So God knows how long that's going to take. But... That's another um, another country I can take off. Of course, it'll be on the website. It'll be on Instagram of the weekend. And as always, if you have any questions about the shirt itself or just anything in general, just, uh, of course, just drop it down below and we'll have a little conversation. That's, that's what seems to happen in the last few videos. We've been uh, having some good, good talks. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you all have a good weekend. And I will see you the following week with a, another shirt. I don't know where I'm going to get one from. Maybe it is going to be the, the other Syrian one, but uh, I'll scour the, uh, the, uh, the stars online tonight and tomorrow, and we'll go from there. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.